In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate the if then else statement within the context of an actual program. The program that we will create will check if a given number by the user is a multiple of 7 or not. We ask the user to input their number, so we go and type 49, because we know that this is already a multiple of 7. Press enter. We're going to need the mod operator. So head on to operators and pick the mod block. The first input will be our answer, the number we just typed. Let's see, this is 49. The second input will be 7. This operation, the mod, will return the remainder upon division of 49 by 7. The answer is obviously zero. We are going to use this fact to create our condition. Go to operators, pick the equal, and take the whole block as first input. Second input will be zero. So this now will check if our answer the 49 divided by 7 leaves a remainder of 0 or not. If we check, this must be true. Our final step is to build the if then else block. So go to control and pick the second if block if then else. We have our condition, our boolean, so plug it into the right place. Now we will need two actions. One for when the condition is met, so when the statement is true, and one for when the condition is not true. So head over to looks and pick the say block. If our answer is indeed a multiple of 7, so this condition is met, we simply type multiple of 7. If this condition is not met, obviously we want the card to say that this is not a multiple of 7, so not a multiple of 7. Let's check our program. We're asked to input our number, so let's input 49. The answer returned is that 49 is a multiple of 7, as we can see. If we run it again with number, say, 125, we know for a fact that this is not a multiple of 7. Let's check. The program returns not a multiple of 7 as expected. 